Hey, this is the Fit Bastard, Scott Tuzan out here today with another episode of Ask the Fit Bastard. Today I'm going to answer a question from Judy, and Judy is a 59-year-old woman, and she sent me an email saying that she was thinking of starting a new a fitness program. She's never exercised before in her life, and her question was, am I too old to start a weight training program and too old to get in great shape? And uh, definitely there's, there's no limits for age. You can get started with a fitness program at any age and you're never too old to get in great shape. There's a great book out there called Fit Over 40 by John Benson. Fantastic book full of role models from um, people, men and women from age 40 up to I think, I believe the oldest was 75 years old. Uh, so a great book full of fantastic role models that have gotten great shape. Today it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Bill Wilson, who has been a client of mine for the past six years, almost seven years, and Bill is 86 years old. So he didn't start working until he's 80 years old, and I'm going to show you some clips of his um, workout session with me that we did earlier today. So I'm breaking this up into two parts, so make sure after you watch this clip, Go catch the next video, part two of uh, Ask the Fit Bastard, with uh, a workout with an 86-year-old man. And it's it's fantastic. He's a true inspiration, and uh, an inspiration to us all of how great shape we can get in and maintain a great quality of life well into our 80s. And I am expecting Bill to continue this into his 90s, and who knows? Who knows at all? There's there's no limit to the potential that this wonderful man has. So enjoy the workout. Hello everybody, this is Scott Tuzana, and I'm here with my client, Bill Wilson. Mr. Bill Wilson is 86 years old and uh, been working out with me for the past six years. <laughs> yeah. And you'll be, what, 87 at the end of June. Right now we've, uh, Bill's done a warm up on the treadmill and we've stretched out a bit and I was doing a, a warm up on a stability ball, just doing some marching exercises, loosening up the legs and the lower back. Opposite arm, opposite <laughs> leg, <laughs> stopping and thinking about it. Bill, next I'd like you to kick out your feet uh, one leg at a time. Again, good for balance and, and loosen up those legs in the back. So, Bill has discovered the fountain of youth. <laughs> Started training me with me uh, when he was 80 years old and uh, never exercised a day in his life prior to that. Well, no, no type of working out or, or fitness program like this. And definitely, I'd have to say, in better shape at 86 than you were at 80. and just keeps getting better and better. All right, Bill, let's show him how you can roll out on the ball and roll back up. Really uh, work on the balance and get yourself loosened up some more. So yeah, keeping the butt up and body parallel with the ground and then roll right back up to the seated position. I still will never forget the first few times I saw you attempting that. I imagine you were nervous the first time that we I had to do this. <laughs> Most people, even much younger than you, uh, are afraid to attempt anything like this on the ball for fear of wiping out. But uh, it's done wonders for you. And I'll just have you do one more time before we get into some serious exercises. Yeah, work, definitely works the legs, works the butt, works the abs, butt up, good stuff, and back up. <laughs> good work. Let me get started. Alright, so now we're working the chest muscles for Billy's doing the dumbbell chest press, holding this lying out position, so we've done the warm up. He's all nice and loose and pushing up some weight here. 
important to build the upper body strength. Stretch the arms out to the side. Bend your elbows just a little bit. So now we're doing some dumbbell flies. Again, working the chest muscles. Ha! Huh. <laughs> so the great thing about being on the ball is working, not only working the chest muscles, but working a lot of other muscles, holding your balance there. Keeping your butt up, you're working the legs, working your butt, working your abs, lower back. Burning lots of calories. I forgot my water bottle, Scott. <laughs> my mouth is dry because I'm mouth breathing. Two more. Back up. Okay, now we've got Bill doing some split squats here. Dropping that knee, dropping the hips straight down. Doing a great job. This is another good exercise for balance and for leg strength, which is really, really important. Definitely, as we age, very important to have strong legs. Don't want to be shuffle stepping around, right, Bill? I have too many friends who fall yes. because their legs aren't strong and their balance hasn't been thought about enough. And this exercise definitely gets the heart rate going too, eh? Huh. Heavy breathing. One more bill and I'll have you switch legs. That's right. All right, so we're working the other leg. This is kind of oh, oh. handy little spot to, with the handles of the little bench press machine there, just for a little safety. <laughs> this left side's always harder, Scott. Yeah, straight down. Good. 